we have not just merely destroyed so much of the world's tropical forests. What we have left behind is in tatters, in fragments. And those fragments are often too small for species to maintain viable populations. There just aren't enough males to go around for the females and females to go around for the males. And of all the places, of all the fragments, one that I thought was particularly tragic was the one immediately behind me. This is the Union Biological Reserve in coastal Brazil, about 100 miles east of the city of Rio de Janeiro. Because in this isolated patch of forest are a whole load of species on the brink of extinction, the most charismatic of which is a beautiful little monkey called the golden lion tamarind. And the golden lion tamarinds in that fragment could not go forth and multiply into the forest over there because there was the cattle pasture behind me. And when I saw that cattle pasture for the first time about eight years ago, a cattle pasture just like the one I'm standing in, I thought it has to go. And so we have made it go away. This is a restored forest. I helped raise money for my friends at the Asociação Mico Leão Dourado, the Golden Lion Tamarind Association, have planted this forest and it now connects that once isolated fragment of forest in the Union Biological Reserve to a much larger area of forest over in this direction. It's what we call a biological corridor and it means that the golden line tamarinds that were once imprisoned in this forest island, this forest fragment behind me, can now cross through these small but growing trees and go and find new habitats, new homes, new places for their, for their tamarind families. There's something else that's important about this fragment too. When you have small fragments, the ecological balance gets out of whack. And one of the things that happens in, in small fragments is that you lose, you lose the top predators. You lose the pumas, you lose the jaguars, because they too cannot cross in this case, from the big forest over there to the fragment behind me. One of the most exciting discoveries this year was, well, how do I put it politely, puma poop. And the puma poop in the forest behind me means that the pumas are coming back into the forest that was once isolated. The pumas rule. They are the top predators and they keep down the smaller predators which, if left uncontrolled, can have a devastating effect on small birds, on golden land tamarinds and other things as well. What you're seeing here is ecological healing. We've gone from a cattle pasture that was a barrier to the forest species to a landscape that is healing, is restoring, we are re-establishing its connectivity. And with that, the tamarinds, the pumas and all their friends will come back and indeed they are coming back. <laughs>